Hey, hello everyone. Um, welcome to my first official YouTube video. And we're gonna grow with it and we'll see how it goes. So I can see there's five of you guys in here. I'm trying to see how I can see your chat though. Like what you guys are saying. So welcome to my first official. And I don't know where to look. I feel the light is really like whoa. Oh, I see you guys now. Hello, hello, hello. Um I think the camera's right here, so I'm gonna have to get used to watching it. Okay, it looks good. Okay, so today we're gonna be talking all about chocolate candy melts. And um, so far, uh, I see hellos and I see some names. And um, so we're gonna roll with it and we're gonna see how it goes. And my phone, it is on landscape, so you guys can see more of my <laughs> lovely home. Uh, so, yeah, that's how it goes. Okay, so let me put my step ladder away. Alright, so we are good, right? Alright, so for those that don't know, I do have um, classes. I do have classes. And thank you, thank you. And a lot of my students, although I talk about candy melting and I talk about chocolate and I talk about what brands I use, so on, so on. Um, I still get a lot of questions of a lot of my students struggling with their chocolate. Um, so I, instead of going live in each and every group of mine or every class of mine, I decided to just do it on YouTube. That way I can stay there, you guys can share it, you guys can keep it, you guys know where to go. And uh, that way, even if you're not in my class, hopefully you guys can find this helpful. Um, because although a lot of us been been uh been in this business or been doing uh you know working with chocolate for a long time we still sometimes struggle with it so make sure you guys get your pens and notebooks out because i'm about to drop some knowledge into you guys today so take out your notebooks and take out your pens right now right now um because you're gonna think you're gonna feel like oh i'm gonna remember everything but you're not okay so go ahead take out your pens your notebooks i'll wait for you guys and uh, we're about to get started. So, okay. The first thing that I want to tell you guys is write this down. Chocolate is very temperamental. Okay, it's, it's like a child. It is like a child. Um, sometimes it can act right. Sometimes it's gonna act funny. Um, and sometimes you're just like, why can't you just behave? Like, why? Why? So we all go through that. Even I've been doing this for seven years. There's still moments where chocolate acts up on me for certain reasons. You know, so just be patient with yourself and just know that it's going to happen. It's bound to happen. And the more you, um, the more you play with the chocolate, the more you're going to get to know it. And you know what works, what doesn't. Okay? So... Let me talk about our containers, okay? So it comes down to just certain things, a lot of things, but certain things that you guys need to be aware of and pay attention to, okay? So I have all types of different bowls here, okay? So these are the ones that I'm gonna kinda use. I'm gonna use this one. Hello, hello, welcome everyone. Okay, so let me talk a little bit about them. Okay, so this one right here is a plastic container. It's a very thin material. This is like a, this is a Ziploc brand, and you guys, it's a Tupperware, right? So it's very bendable, it's just plastic, nothing special to it. So this is a glass, a glass cup, a measuring cup. A lot of people use glass containers to melt their chocolate in, okay? This right here, it came in a set. I literally bought it today at Big Lots. It's a plastic container as well, okay? Plastic, it came in a set like this, it comes with bigger bowls and bigger and bigger and bigger, okay? And this one cost me about $15 for the set, so it's not super cheap, but this is plastic, okay? And then the ones that I just got for this live, you guys, for this live, I decided to um, get these silicone bowls because a lot of people talk about them. So these bowls right here, I found them on Amazon, and after we are done with, with the live, I will um, put it in the description of everything that I can find along for you guys online. 
The Big Lots ones, I doubt I'm going to be able to find because I don't think they have like a... Maybe they do. I just don't shop online for Big Lots. But I'll look for it. So whatever I'm using and I can find a link for you guys after the video is done, I will link it below. Okay? So if you are watching the replay, then it should be already down there. So these bowls right here, I hear a lot of people talk about them. They're silicone. They're like this. Very bendable. Okay? These, they come in a set of three. Okay? What I liked about them, I have not used them. Literally, I got them today. Today they came in from Amazon. I like them because they come with lids. So after you're done with your chocolate, you can um, put the lid on. I don't know how to put it because, like I said, it's my first time. Like, it goes like this. So you literally close it and it has a lid. Okay? So let me give you my take from just not even trying it out yet, just from what I've learned in my past experiences. And then we're going to start melting, okay? So I... I'm sorry, I'm not going to try to like make this within an hour, chocolate melting, all that kind of stuff. It takes time. So I'm not going to try to rush the process, but I'm going to try to keep it going. But um, just so you guys know. <laughs> okay, so these plastic containers here, everyone has them at home. They're very accessible, very affordable. So I have tried milk chocolate in these type of containers before. I don't like them because the material is super thin. So the material is super thin and what happens is my chocolate heats up in certain spots and you don't want that to happen. You kind of want your chocolate to, um, for you to melt it evenly without those hot spots. So this for me is too thin. I have used this container before. Um, I actually used it for my Apple class because I wanted to show them that I can use anything they have, but I was totally wrong because I didn't like how it melted. So these containers don't work for me. So before I keep going, all this right here, what I'm going to talk about, it is my opinion. They're my experiences. I know of other people that have used plastic containers and they know how to work them. All of this is just my opinion. Okay, so if you are, if you are melting your chocolate in here and it's giving you issues, then change your container. Okay, so basically what I want you guys to grab from here is, oh, I tried that and she's right. I didn't, um, that didn't work for me either. Or, oh, I didn't know that and change it but don't get all judgy on me be like well i use that and that works fine like i said this is just my opinion <laughs> okay so this glass hello um uh, the glass containers any glass containers i a lot of um really good cake poppers use glass containers they do beautiful work and they like using glass so it works for them the reason I don't like them, I feel it heats up so quickly. Um, it retains a lot of heat. So for me, I don't like using glass just for that reason. But today we're going to use glass. We're going to use glass. So we're going to try it out. Okay. Uh, plastic containers, I usually stick to plastic bowls. So you guys know, if you guys haven't watched any of my lives before or my videos, I don't have one on hand because I was like, I'm not going to use it today, dinner. You're not going to use it today because those bowls are discontinued. They are from Target and um, they're just, they're not available anymore. So I didn't want to bring it out and you'd be like, well, Danero, I, I can't access that. So um, I'm going to switch it for this one. So basically, if you're going to be using plastic, you want a, a, a specific material. You don't want super flimsy, like I said, like this type of plastic. You want something that's more sturdy. Um, it has, you know those, if you guys are familiar with like Walmart and Target, they do have these, this line of plastic bowls and I like them. I like the material. For me, I just don't like because they're super wide. Like they're wide, but they're not deep enough. So I like my stuff to be deep. Like this kind of stuff, like this right here is deep enough for me. I love deep bowls. Um, I don't like white stuff. So that is just me though. Okay. So you want just a good plastic material. Okay, something not too thin, um, not too flimsy, so on, so on. Okay, so these bowls right here, I cannot speak on because I have never tried them in my life. I literally, like I said, just bought them today. And um, a lot of people rave about them because um, they don't heat up quickly. It doesn't burn your chocolate. They're silicone, um, so on, so on. My take on just getting the bowls today is they're too small for me. Like there, I feel it's, it's supposed to hold about two pounds of chocolate in here. I mean, I'm sure it can, but honestly, they're so tiny for me. 
Like if I'm gonna be doing, because I do a lot of big orders, so on, so on, I feel like this is too small. Like, it's too small. Um, but if you are just starting and you just have little orders here and there, I'm gonna let you guys know what I think about to them today. And I'm sorry if I look cross-eyed here and there, because honestly, I'm like trying to, I'm always used to my camera there, but it's actually on this side now, so. Oh well. Okay, so let's talk about chocolate now. Okay, so I talked about the bowls. Trying to make space here. All right, so once again, if you have not been watching me for a very long time or don't know about me, my go-to chocolate is uh, Merkin Super White. Okay, so this box right here is 25 pounds of Merkin Super White. It is new, I have not opened it. Brand new box, okay? Um, where do I get my chocolate from? It is from, um, I get it locally at Jane's Cakes and Chocolate Supply Store. Uh, there's Merkins.com, there's Amazon, um, Lolly Cakes by Ella, Sugar Essentials carries chocolate by the pound. If you can get your hands on a box, it's a little bit cheaper. Okay, so this is my go-to chocolate, okay? Merkin Super White, okay? So, I have done a video before where I literally use like every brand of chocolate you can think of. And it was a really long video. It was a lot of stuff going on. So I'm not going to do that today, but I am going to be using Wilton Candy Melt uh, because I know that's the most, what a lot of people use because it's the most accessible to you. So I have Wilton. I have a chocolate maker and milk chocolate because I didn't have white. So I just grabbed this. And... I have this right here is a it's Merkin super white but it's old okay so old it's been in my fridge but before I put it in the fridge it was already like not the consistency that I want it so what I do I just keep it in the fridge because it's not bad I mean it's just not the consistency that I want so sometimes when I have to do Oreos or something that I don't need it to be super thin I'll use it because it's still good and it's expensive so or I mix it in with my new chocolate. But today, I'm gonna try it out to show you guys what I'm talking about and what happened. So much more we're gonna talk about. It. Okay, so I'm gonna put, in this one right here, the glass one, you guys know that I told you guys I don't like to use glass. But I'm gonna put my Merkin Super White, my brand new one in here, okay? So I'm gonna get my box, I'm gonna open it up. So fresh batch and I'm gonna put some in here. Alright, so that right there. I'm gonna put some I'm gonna put some in the green bowl of my Merkin Super White as well. I just wanna see what I think about it if this one feels hotter than this one, if it's gonna melt, is it if it's gonna give me the same consistency or not so we're gonna find out okay so that's Merkin super white okay so here and let's start with this we're gonna start with this so I don't get confused because then I have too much chocolates going on so we're gonna start with this so I use the microwave okay um I'm gonna stick this in and I'll talk a little bit more. so I'm going to do I'm gonna start with 30 seconds Okay, so Denera, can I use a candy pop melter, the ones that Wilton has, you know, you heat it up and it melts it for you. When I first started, I used it, okay? But when I started to gain a little bit more experience, I realized that um, it really overheats your chocolate. It gets too hot. So I don't recommend it. Once again, I know of other people that use it and do beautiful work. So if you have learned to use it, then, then uh, great. If you're having issues with your candy, your pot, literally overheating, your chocolate is just not getting the consistency that you want, then it's time to change it. It's time to uh, come up or look for another container you can use. Okay, so this was 30 seconds, and this thing is hot. Like, this is hot. I am not lying to you guys, it is hot. 
Um, it's already like kind of melting my melt in there. It's hot. So I'm gonna go in there with a little rubber spatula and I'm gonna give it a mix, okay? And I don't know how this chocolate's going to melt, if it's gonna melt the way I want it to because it's a fresh new batch. But the reason that I wanted to do a live like this is because I do get a lot of people that say, but I am, Denera, I am using Merkin Super White and it's not melting the way you show us. I don't get that consistency. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So I didn't wanna open it, I didn't wanna try it. I just literally wanted to um, to open it with you guys and find out what I'm getting. If I'm getting a bad batch, if I'm getting a, a, a good one. So, okay, when you're melting your candy melt, you wanna do 30 seconds and mix it. Whether it looks like it did anything, whether it looks like it melted, whether it looks like it didn't do nothing, 30 seconds, pull it out and you have to give it a mix, okay? And now, by me giving the mix, and because my bowl is, my cup is hot, wow. it's already melting. You guys can see, like, it's already melting in there, okay? So make sure you are stirring, okay? Even if it doesn't look like it did anything, okay? So the other mistake that when I first started, I, we get taught that it has to be 30 seconds every single time. Do 30 second intervals, okay? It is not like that. Okay, so you have to do 30 seconds and by the judgment of your cup or your, your bowl or your chocolate, you're gonna say, you know what, 30 seconds is gonna be a long time. So I'm gonna do 20 seconds now. It does not always have to be 30 seconds. Okay, and I hope you guys are writing all this down. Okay, so I'm not gonna do 30 seconds because this thing heats up too much for me. So I'm gonna do 20 seconds. Okay. Um, Another thing you have to pay attention to is your microwave. Um, my microwave is on power 10, okay? I know there's videos out there where they suggest lowering the power level to, to seven, to eight, to six. You guys, I don't have time to be doing that every single time. All right, so that was 20 seconds. Um, I just don't have time for that. So I leave it at 10 and I just change the seconds. I do 10, I do 15, I do 20, I do 30, okay? So if you are having issues, um, you know, where your chocolate, you're doing 30 seconds and it gets super hot and it's not the container, then uh, it's your microwave. Make sure that it's rotating correctly, that it's not just staying in one place because it has happened to me before. Um, and maybe if you can't lower the power, then lower it, okay? So chocolate is very temperamental, okay? And I did 20 seconds and it's it's melting. I mean, if I keep stirring, because my glass container's like hot, it's gonna keep melting. So I'm gonna give it a stir. And I still don't know what, what I'm going to get, if it's gonna be the consistency that I want or not. <laughs> okay, you don't want to rush this process. Okay, you're not in a hurry to do this. This is not put it in a minute and it's out, you're done, no. Your chocolate, you need to be very patient. Take your time with it. Um, or else, it's going to be like, what are you doing to me? And it's going to act up. And um, it's going <laughs> to drive you crazy. So just take your time with it. Okay? And um, I always underestimate how much time it takes to melt a chocolate and how much time it takes to color a chocolate. I always underestimate it. It takes me literally close to over an hour just to melt like three colors four colors color them so on so on so just know it takes time okay so right now i'm gonna do 15 seconds now 15 okay and um I'm trying to see where i'm gonna put it and i do have some apples um just mini apples i don't have too many i only have eight of them so i want to dip them just to see what the results are So, and um, something else that I've never ever thought about, and one of my students actually asked me is like, because I tell them that when you want to melt, when you want to dip your cake pops or apples, um, any, I like to work with chocolate that's almost setting. So it's literally not warm. When you touch it, it feels like it's at room temperature, but it still is gives you that runny consistency. That's the perfect temperature for me. 
so, so one of my students was like have you ever tried um using like a candy thermometer to see what is the temperature and i was like no because um i don't own a candy thermometer i don't you know i've never used one in my life so i was like but that's a good idea so i went out and bought a candy thermometer i have not opened it i have not opened it and i don't know how to use it <laughs> i read the back it, it seems like very um kind of self-explanatory so what i want to do is kind of reach the temperature that i like so i can give you guys what is it at and maybe that can help you okay so right now it's it's still i still have chunks in here okay but there's bubbles in here um only way only one way to find out if i'm gonna like it or not is to dip something in there so i'm gonna keep melting it and i'm gonna touch it so it is not as hot as it feels so my outside feels like it's hot like if i literally my chocolate's super hot but it's not um i just touch it and it's like lukewarm so that's good Okay, so if I put it in again, which I think I am, I'm going to do 10 seconds now. I'm going to do two, 10 seconds. Okay. Um, today is hot in California. It is literally, I don't know why fall hasn't hit us yet, but it, it was like 98 today. And right now my house still feels hot. I have the AC going, but I didn't put it to um, like an hour before the way you're supposed to. So um, we're going to see how chocolate acts up with this because it feels hot in my household. So that's a, um, that's another another thing. <laughs> it's okay, you guys. I'm actually, I'm not just getting started, but kind of. And I can't see all your comments. It only pops in and out. So I'm trying to get used to like this YouTube live. So I don't know if I can leave the comments on this entire time. I don't know. But um, right now it just pops in and out, in and out. Okay. So this is a consistency. It is, it's good. It's light. Um, I'm going to do like an extra just between 5 and 10 seconds. I'll tell you guys right now. Hi, everyone. Hi. I'm going to do 5 seconds. Okay, and then we're going to do this one here, and I'm going to tell you guys if it melted the same or not. Okay. So this is it. My chocolate's done. Okay, I'm going to leave it to chill a little bit, and then we're going to dip once I'm done with this one. Okay, so gonna leave it here and we're gonna move on to this one so this one here is the same chocolate same box same batch and um, I'm gonna start with 30 seconds as well okay and I'm gonna open this up uh, like I said I've never used this in my life and I'm not the smartest person when it comes to tools like this I feel like I I think too much about it <laughs> So, don't laugh at me if I'm not using it properly. Alright, so, leave this out. Alright, 30 seconds. This feels hot. This feels hot. Okay, it's... The outside feels hot to me. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting it to get hot like that. But, um... Let's see right now. <laughs> I thought it, it didn't like really heat up like that, but I guess it does. Okay, so I'm just melting. And that's another thing that I don't like about these type of bowls here. Because I know myself. That they're too like, you know, this. So when I try to like really get in there, I feel like I'm going to end up like dropping it. But you need a good grip on it. Um, so yeah. And, um, all right, 
I'm going to put this in. I'm going to do 20 seconds. And thank you for those that are answering the comments. I get to see a few of them, but um, I kind of want to keep it. We'll have like a short Q&A at the end. Um, if I see a comment here and there, then I'll answer them. But um, I'm trying to just keep the flow going. <laughs> and um, or else I'll, I'll be here all night answering questions. <laughs> so at the end, I'll have like a short Q&A, okay? All right, so that was 20 seconds. And this, the outside feels hot. Like this feels really hot. Um, but it's like this, this here, this here felt really hot. Um, but the chocolate wasn't hot. So maybe it's the same thing with this. Where it feels hot from the outside, but the inside is cool. Okay, so once again, make sure you're always melting, uh, always stirring it. And chocolate does does produce a lot of bubbles if you stir very harsh so um try not to once again speed it up speed it up and go in there like go like super fast because you'll create a lot of bubbles and um you don't want to see all those bubbles in your um in your chocolate i mean in your treat okay so i'm gonna put it in and i'm gonna do 15 seconds right now we still have that big old gulp of uh, chocolate So I'm gonna do 20 seconds. So on this candy thermometer, this brand is uh, Taylor, and on the bottom here, it kind of gives you like labels, and it says candy melts, chocolate melts. It says 100 Fahrenheit, 100 Fahrenheit. Um, I want to say like that's the standard, like what you. You know, I feel like that's too hot, but that I haven't never tried it. So I'll tell you guys right now. So this already is melted pretty much. Okay, um, I'm gonna touch it and I'm gonna tell you guys if this feels hotter than that, and um, we'll go from there. The consistency is good on both, but the true is gonna come out when we dip something in it. Okay, I'm gonna touch it. This feels hotter than this one. Okay, let me put this in right now and let me see what it says. Um, I am assuming you just put it in, right? You just dump it in there. <laughs> um, I just wanna see what it's like right now. How hot is it? If it's at where it says chocolate melt 100 or if it's more than that or if it's less than that, we'll see right now. So I'm gonna put it in. I think that's how you do it. How do you read this? Okay. Is it the red little line? Help? <laughs> I mean, it's not going up to 100. I don't know if I'm doing it right or wrong. I should have read the instructions more thoroughly on this. Oh, I see it going up. Or is it just my brain playing games on me? Okay, if I'm doing it right, it should be moving up. Okay, thank you, I think it is. Um, okay, I see it. Okay, I feel like my eyes were like playing games on me because the more I stare at it, the more it kind of like, you know, goes like this. But, it's close to 100. It takes a minute, okay, okay, thank you. Okay, it's close to 100 on here. All right, thank you, Melissa. Thank you, guys. Okay, I'm gonna leave it in there. Um, it has not reached 100 yet, but I can already tell you this chocolate is too hot. Like, I would not use this on cake pops. I would not use it on, on apples right now because the chocolate is just too hot. So do not, if you do have a candy thermometer and it's telling you that chocolate melts, if it's at 100, that's, you know it's good it is too hot a hundred is too hot um so i feel right now it's sitting at a hundred it's sitting at a hundred so i'm gonna keep an eye on it so i'm gonna go back to this one and 
I feel it's gonna suck because I'm not gonna have a really temperature for you guys because up under a hundred it does not tell me any more numbers. Like there's no line, so I can tell if it's fifty, if it's thirty, if it's you know, it does not tell me. So I'm not gonna have a real exact number for you. Also, I don't think it should touch the bottom. <laughs> It makes sense because the bottom is honestly a little bit harder than the actual chocolate, I think. So you're right. That makes sense. Okay. So I went back to this one. So I'm going to touch it. So this chocolate doesn't feel lukewarm. Doesn't feel warm. It doesn't feel hot. It doesn't feel cold. It feels like the right temperature. So I'm going to put an apple in here. We're gonna dip one apple because that's all, like I said, I only have eight of them, so I can't be wasting them. So I'm gonna dip one in there and I'm gonna tell you guys if I like the results, if it's acting up on me, if I see elephant skin, what I think might be going on, so on, so on. Because right now, the temperature for me is good. Like I said, you want somewhere in between. You want it to be almost setting. That's the, that's the, the best uh, chocolate temperature you want to dip your treats in because it sets faster and it has less time to react, to get elephant skin, to get all that extra stuff that happens. Um, if it's almost getting cold, it'll set like this, and um, you won't have to stress too much about it. Okay, so we're gonna find out right now. And um, then I'm gonna melt the Wilton ones, just to see, okay? Okay, so I wax paper. Grab an apple. Okay, so I have an apple right here. I'm gonna go in there and we're gonna find out. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Okay, I'm gonna shake off the excess, and so far, I don't see any elephant skin. I don't see much going on. It feels really good. Okay, so I'm going to set it down and I'm going to see how, if it starts to get elephant skin, if I start seeing it just act up, I will tell you guys. And I'm going to tell you guys how fast it sets. So, you need an instant. Uh, I might miss your, your comment. It kind of goes in and out, but something about a digital, something like that. Because this is, first of all, this is huge. This kind of thermometer is huge. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Okay, so something that I want to hit on. So a lot of my students, or not students, they have, um, they tell me dinner, I got Mercury Super White, and it's just not melting. It's like, it's super thick on me. I can't get it to the consistency that I want. Um, the one there is that you need an instant real dial thermometer. I will look into that. So I don't use a candy thermometer for my caramel, and I know you know that. Um, so I've never bought one, and I never saw like a, a you know a reason to buy one. But my students started to like give me the idea of like trying to give them um, you know a, a certain number so they know what I'm talking about. So I was like, oh, that's a good idea. But this one didn't work. So I will look into what you're talking about, and hopefully that works better for them. <laughs> okay. So I was saying. They don't get the consistency that, I, that, that they want. And chocolate can act up for a lot of reasons. So you guys want to write this down. Okay, it can act up because they call it, you got an old batch, a bad batch, um, wherever you got it from. And that can happen because the store or the vendor, wherever you're getting it from, is not storing it properly or it's been sitting on the shelves for a very long time. Um, that's number one. Uh, number two, the reason it can act up is because once you brought it home, you left it on the counter. So on this box right here, this apple is almost setting. Like it's literally losing its shine. It just needs the bottom. It needs to set a little bit more, but I'll pick it up right now. And then I'm gonna melt, I'm gonna try it dipping an apple in this bowl right here and see if we get the same exact results or not. We'll see. Okay. So this box right here, it tells me, right here, it says store at 65, uh, no higher than 68 degrees. 
Okay, write that down. Between 65 degrees Fahrenheit, is it Fahrenheit? I don't know. <laughs> um, no, not higher than 68. Okay? Not higher than 68. Okay? So, they put that there for a reason. Okay? They're not putting the... They're not putting it there just to put it, you guys. So it needs to be stored at that type of temperature, okay? So for example, my house is when it's hot, it's super hot. When it's cold, it's super cold, okay? So with my experience, as I, you know, did a lot of mistakes and a lot of errors, um, I would get my chocolate, bring it home. I will leave it out on the counter because I was never taught to put it in the fridge. I would also even read blogs or, you know, if you Google it, can you put candy melt in the fridge? It most of them will say no. Like, don't do it because of the humidity. Um, it's gonna ruin your chocolate. But once I started getting my boxes and I started to realize that it's at 65 to no no higher than 68, I was like, my house is literally almost sometimes 80, sometimes 90 in here, and it will ruin my chocolate all the time. And the reason I figured it out was because it tells me here, another one is because, let's say that I, I have this chocolate, right? I use it this weekend, I leave my box out, and it melts beautiful right now. So right now it melted good, I see it's, it's not acting up, blah, 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 blah. Next week I come, I use the same exact box that I left out, and it doesn't melt the same anymore. I'm using the same container, using the same microwave, I know how to melt chocolate, so I know it's not that. So I'm like, what is going on? So then I was like, it's because I'm not storing it properly. So I started putting it in the fridge, okay? So every summer, even right now, it's already fall, but it's hot. So I put my chocolate in the fridge, all of them. As soon as I'm done with this, let's say I'm not gonna use it anymore, it goes in the fridge. I reuse all of it. Once you are done with chocolate, you can keep, um, Remelting it, remelting it, but you have to store it properly. So this goes, this this advice goes to everyone who has chocolate in their home and you use it once and the next week it's not melting correctly anymore. It is the way you're storing it. Okay? So maybe try out the fridge. See if that helps it. Okay? Um a lot of other people don't have that issue where they're like, Well, I don't store mine in the fridge and my house is not that between sixty five and sixty eight and it doesn't act up on me, great. You don't have to change anything, keep doing it. This goes to everyone who does have issues. Change it up, okay? So my apple already set basically, okay? And it didn't get elephant skin. It was kind of about to get elephant skin, like close to, let me, uh, I don't think you're gonna be able to see it because it's really like very minimal. Okay, so, I had some I, I saw someone ask like why does why do I get elephant skin? What's the reason behind that? So let me I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. Um I'm trying to see if you guys can see it, but I don't think you're gonna be able to see it. It's very minimal. Okay. So let me let me tell you. If my chocolate would if I we would have been dipping in hot chocolate, like really hot chocolate, it wouldn't have set as fast as it did. And right now it's hot, you guys. I, if you guys can really see me up close, I am sweating. <laughs> um, it's hot in my house. Okay, but the reason that I didn't have a chance to really act up and create all that elephant skin was because my chocolate was almost setting. So it had less time to do all of that stuff, to throw tantrums. It had less time to do all of that. It just set, and now it's good. Now it's, you know, perfect. So elephant skin can happen for a lot of reasons. Um, it can be your chocolate. Um, it can be that you're, it's really hot. So if your chocolate is really hot, so let's say you dip one apple and you see a lot of elephant skin, let it cool down. Come back to it in five minutes. Come back to it in eight minutes, whatever it is, let it chill. Like it needs to cool down. You'll see the difference. I, I've seen the difference. I had a student who uh, dipped her apples and she said, you know, why am I getting elephant skin? She posted a picture and I had seen one of her apples in the little bunch that didn't have a lot of elephant skin. Like it was it was there, but it was very minimal. And I asked her and I said, well, that apple right there, was that your last one that you dipped or the first one you dipped? I already knew the answer. 
She said it was the last one. So that goes to show that her first two apples that she dipped in the chocolate was hot. Her chocolate was hot. It needed to cool down. And the third apple that was in the little bunch showed proof of that because it had very minimal elephant skin compared to the others. Okay? So the first thing you want to look at, if your chocolate is this consistency, so if it's this consistency, and you're dipping your cake pop, your rice crispy, whatever it is you're dipping, and you start seeing elephant skin, most likely it's because it's too hot. Okay? Another big reason is your environment. Okay? Where you're working at. When I first started, we didn't have AC in my kitchen, and we still don't have AC in my kitchen. I had to buy a window AC because I would go crazy during the summertime. Okay, your environment needs to be cool. Okay, and I don't mean just when you're about to start dipping, you turn on your AC. Your AC needs to be running for like literally a full hour before you start working because the place needs to cool down. Humidity has a big um, part in elephant skin. Okay, so yes, I told you guys, chocolate is just one of those things where it's, it drives us crazy. But the more you do it, the more you're gonna find out, okay, this is what's going on. Um, I can change this, let me change that. Okay, I'm not gonna do that next time, but just be patient with it. Um, Cause like I said, most of us that have been doing this for a very long time, we still have issues to this day. And sometimes we already know why. Like we're like, oh, I already know why, okay? So I'm gonna dip one apple in this one here. I'm gonna touch it again. Remember when I first put it in, I'm not gonna do it again because honestly, I don't, like I said, it didn't even reach 100. Now that it's even cooler, I'm not going to have a number for you guys. But I will look into getting uh, what you guys suggested. Okay. Okay, this one is still on the little warm side, which I'm very, like, impressed. I think these kind of hold more heat, the bowls. They retain more heat because it's still on the warm side. But I'm going to I'm gonna dip an uh, apple in here. You know what I should do? I should... I'm going to do this just for you guys, just to show, just to prove a point, okay? I'm going to put it in the microwave and I'm going to do 15 seconds, okay? I'm going to do 15 seconds. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you guys, it's the same chocolate, same batch, but the temperatures have a big, big part in it, the temperature of your chocolate. So I'm going to heat it up, even though I waited for it to cool down for nothing, but it kind of just, let me see what, what happens. Okay, if you guys see, right now it's still super runny. Okay, let me show you. I can already tell it's hot. I know I cut off, okay, but I'm trying to show you guys something. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell. See right there, that? You see that? My, It's like, it's, you see that? That right there is because it's too hot. Okay? I hope you guys see all that. Okay? So I'm going to put my apple in here. I'm trying to show you guys the elephant skin that's coming, but can't really see it there. You can kind of see it right there. You guys see all that? That's elephant skin. That's my son that he never pops up. Okay, I'm going to set it down. Okay. And they're going to be... They're gonna be two different, two different looks, and it's literally the exact same chocolate, same batch. Okay. The only reason is because it's too hot. You guys are not being patient enough. You guys think because you have that runny consistency that it's okay? Because when we first start, that's what they teach us. As long as it's like you're trying to just get the right consistency, and as long as you have the right consistency, you are good. That is not correct. Okay, so I'm going to let this two kind of set to show you guys the outcome of this, but it's looking nasty. 
Okay, so we're gonna move on. Okay, so glass, silicone. My my take is, for me, they still both get kind of on the hot side. Um, I literally expected this to I don't know work better, like where it was it wouldn't heat up as much, but it did. Um. So I don't know. I'm gonna keep trying it because I mean I, I like the, the fact that they come with the lid, but I will keep trying. So I'm gonna put these to the side. Okay, so now we're gonna we're gonna move on and I'm going to get my plastic bowl and we're gonna um, we're gonna melt Wilton brand. Okay, so we're gonna melt Wilton. Okay, so I have some red red candy melt in here. Okay. Brand new badge, I barely bought them yesterday. So I got them for $2.50. Okay, so I'm gonna put them in here. The same brand and I'm gonna this is Merkins red okay uh, Merkins red okay so this one right here cost me two dollars and fifty cents this one cost me four dollars and fifty cents for this one pound bag okay so yes it costs more okay so I'm gonna open this up and I put it in here I'm gonna start with Wilton, okay? I'm gonna start with 30 seconds. This baby has not dried up yet. I'm trying to make space so you guys don't look at all my, my chunchero. <laughs> all my mess. I'm gonna lift it up so I, show, I can show you guys. look as bad in person it looks bad <laughs> okay so 30 seconds we're gonna give it a mix I have not used Wilton uh, candy melt in a very long time so I really hope they impress me last time they did I was just like oh damn like they changed their formula because it wasn't as bad as I remember because uh, back then it was super thick, like super, super thick. So um, we'll see how this melts. Okay, so I give it a mix. Okay. And let me tell you, let me tell you. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. This does not feel hot anywhere. Anywhere. It does not feel hot. And that's the type of plastic. This is my first time using this bowl. I had never tried it before. Um, this is the type of plastic that I like working with. Um, because it doesn't burn my chocolate. Um, it's literally not... The other two that I used, the glass one and the silicone one, the hot spots were there where it was the... I can feel the, the heat after only 30 seconds. And this right here, I do not feel it. So for me... Once again, for me, uh, find bowls that after 30 seconds, you bring them out and they don't feel hot. For me, those are the best bowls, okay? I'm gonna do 20 seconds. And uh, someone asked if I can re-dip the apple. You can definitely re-dip. It's just gonna look uh, bulkier. It's gonna have more chocolate than caramel. Um, and I know some people do that with their cake pops. Um, but just know that the ratio is going to be more chocolate than cake. So we can definitely read it if it's bothering you. Okay. I feel a little bit of heat from down here in the bottom here, but not as bad as those. Like, honestly, I'm not lying to you guys. I'm not lying. This is not, 
I literally just bought them. So it's not like I'm trying to shout out the vendor because I got it at Big Lots. Okay, so I'm gonna melt it. I mean, I'm gonna stir it. Okay, and when you get an elephant skin like this, my thing, what I do when my chocolate is acting up, I don't read it. I don't sell plain anything. I don't sell plain caramel apples. I don't sell plain cake pops. I don't sell plain Rice Krispies. Why? Because of this kind of stuff right here. So I always add some drizzles, add some sprinkles, and you can't even tell. <laughs> All right. So. All right. So we're going to, um. I'm gonna I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do 15 seconds okay and it's still not even dry it's still super wet thank you guys so much for being here honestly it was my first YouTube live I didn't know if you guys were gonna show up and come through but you guys showed up <laughs> thank you so 15 seconds. Okay. This is this is where my Wilton candy melt people go wrong. Okay, so pay attention. Pay attention. Uh, love your videos. Thanks for all the information. Thank you guys. Thank you, uh, Tammy. Thank you for being here. Okay. So listen up, all my Wilton candy melters. I use Wilton candy melts. Okay. So because you are used to watching. You know, people like me, and they tell you this is a consistency that you want, and you're, and we are showing you this this um, runny consistency. Look it, my melts are completely melted. They're completely melted. There's no more chunks in there. Okay. But where is the runny consistency? And because you're not seeing the runny consistency, you are tempted to put it back in the microwave. You're like, well, it's not there yet, so I'm gonna shove it back in the microwave, even though all your candy melts are melted, okay? So don't shove it back in the microwave. It's not going to get more runnier than this, okay? So what is wrong is the candy melt itself. It's just Wilton brand is not the best, okay? So if you're looking, I'm not saying everyone, there's people out there who have, um, have mastered this, you know, make it work for themselves. They they uh, mix it with other brands to make it work. Yes, but I'm telling you, if you are a beginner, if you are just starting out, um, you're gonna ask yourself, well, how do they do that? Like, how do they get? It? It's because we're using a whole different brand. Okay, so it's completely melted. Like this is melted. Okay, there's no chunks in there, and I'm gonna touch it right now. But you don't see that runny consistency. I do see a lot of elephant skin. So I want to touch it to tell you guys if it's super hot or we're going to let it cool down. It's a little on the hot side. Not too much, but a little on the hot side. So I'm going to let it cool down. Okay, so let's talk about vegetable oil, paramount crystals, uh, shortening, coconut oil. So all those kind of stuff will thin out your chocolate. Okay, so they can help you make it thinner. I will try it for you guys. I'm not an expert expertise. I'm not an expert on adding vegetable oil, paramount crystal shortening because I hate doing it. I found something that works for me and I don't have to add anything to Merkin Super White. So I, I don't bother with that kind of stuff, but I just want to, I just want to try it and see if I can make it thinner. Um, so on, so on. So, but I'm going to let it cool down just a little bit because it's too hot. So we're gonna now we're gonna do use literally the exam, the exact same brand of the bowl, just a little bit bigger. And this is Merkin's um Merkin's red. Okay. Um let me call Kimberly so she can get me. I I'm gonna do vegetable oil because um because that's I think what's most accessible to you guys. Paramount crystal, some of you guys might not know what it is. It's basically shortening. Uh, but I'm going to use vegetable oil just because I know that's literally very accessible to everyone. Um, so I'm going to get it out and do I have an extra? I'm going to use this one here. This one's white, but we're going to mix it in here because I don't have an extra spatula. 
Okay, um, Kimberly. Okay, and once again, I did uh, 30 seconds, and this is not hot at all. Like, no hot spots. I'm not trying to leave you guys alone, but okay. Let me show you my apple. It's still not dry. It has. If I touch it, okay. That was 15 seconds. Kimberly. I'm going to do, I'm going to do um, 15 seconds. It still has a lot of weight to go. Um, and then um, after this, I'm going to dip both. I'm going to dip one apple in, in each, each um, red. And then I'm going to meld my Merkins, my old Merkins super white. Can you do there's vegetable oil, like regular oil that we use for cakes? I'm trying to clean my spatula because I kind of got caramel on it. Okay, so this is literally uh, vegetable oil. Okay. Have, you guys haven't seen Kimberly in a long time. Hi. We've been busy mom practices. Okay. What, um, I'm showing that I overheated the chocolate. So you see, she even pointed it out. She goes, "What happened?" I was to gonna that? say, I was gonna say it's ugly, but I'm not supposed to say so no one's saying anything. <laughs> you know, she's like, "What is wrong with that one, mom?" Um, what temperature was it? Hi. I don't know that thing. I couldn't read it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that I'm gonna do uh, 15 seconds again. Actually, 10, okay? So I'm gonna come in here again and I'm gonna touch it, see if it cooled down. A little bit. All right. Right now we still have a lot of chunks in there. try to show you guys the consistency so far what I have so you guys can tell this is a little bit more runnier okay so a lot of colored candy melts they don't melt the same so this is the same brand this is Merkins um, sometimes Merkins green Merkins yellow so on so on does not melt the same as Merkins super white so a lot of us prefer to um, just color our white. So I'm only going to do 10 seconds because it's literally almost there. Um, so we use uh, candy coloring to make it more bold. So another question that I get is, you know, how do you make your color so bold? It might, might never come out like that. Um, is because we even if you buy red chocolate and it, you're supposed to you know you see it you see it um, in here right and it looks red it looks like you know but once you start dipping your stuff in it it comes out to like a super pale red so all of the, uh, every chocolate that you are seeing or any treat that you're seeing and it's super bold it is because we added extra candy coloring and sometimes a lot of it a lot Okay, so for me, for example, okay, so let me show you guys the red is melted already. Okay, this is not as runny as I would want it to. Um, I'm gonna let it cool down, I'm gonna feel, I'm gonna touch it. 
and it's a little bit on the hot side a little bit cooler than that one but a little bit on the hot side so I'm gonna let it cool down and um, let me talk about my red so I start with I, I start with this red with red Merkins and I literally sometimes add an entire bottle of red to make it super bold okay so don't think that we're adding only a little bit in it or we're just using a um, colored candy melt and we're getting those bold colors not gonna happen okay um, you need to add candy color into it okay so I'm gonna go to this one and I'm gonna okay I feel like it's getting thicker because it's cooling down so it's only getting thicker on me so right now we're literally at this it's not even like nope okay so I'm going to add I'm gonna grab the cap and I'm gonna add a cap full of okay so it's to the top you guys want to show you guys why are you putting that in to make it thinner okay so I'm gonna add a cap full and I'm gonna stir it okay the thing with when you're adding paramount crystals or vegetable oil or shortening you don't want to add too much because when you're uh, dipping your apple it's gonna slide down completely because you added too much or it's gonna be super transparent because you added too much so um, go little by little and play it by ear and then the more you do it if that is what you want to do if uh, American Super White is not accessible to you or you can't afford it right now um, just play it by ear and you'll get better and better I do know people that use Wilton candy melts like I said and do beautiful stuff so it's just about you know just keep at it and learning what works what doesn't okay so I added and it has did help it because you guys saw how it was before but it's still not the consistency that I want okay but I can tell it did make it a little bit smoother and the consistency changed um, it's not as thick okay so it's getting in there so I'm going to add another another capful I'm gonna add another capful like I said, I'm not an expert on this kind of stuff because I don't do this. When I first started, I did though. So, um, but I'm not. I don't have too much knowledge on it. So, um, we're gonna see what happens. Okay. So, a lot of questions that I get also is, Danera, when you add an entire bottle of black or red, because sometimes when it's red and black is when we use the entire bottle. And they always get I always get asked if it changes the the taste of it okay and when I first started I would taste all of my chocolate and it always tasted the same when I started teaching when I started teaching doing these live tutorials and stuff I started to hear people tell me like oh I tried that and the taste like it tasted bitter so I was like wait like did they change the product like I need to start tasting my stuff you know so I started tasting it again and to me, my taste buds say vanilla chocolate. I, I don't taste any bitterness to it. I don't taste any change. My customers have never, ever complained that, hey, the chocolate tasted bitter. Never. Okay? So, I don't know. It might be your taste buds that really just can taste it. But for me, I, I, I just can't taste it. And I have tried it multiple times now because you guys tell me, like, um, it's bitter, you know, so I try it and I'm like, I don't taste it. Okay, so The change is there. I still have that elephant skin though You see how it cuts like como se corta. Like it just I don't get that flowy consistency, but I do have more of a flowy more of a runny more of a manageable <laughs> consistency compared to what we started with and um, okay I'm gonna touch it and I want to dip an apple just to see what happens because honestly if I keep adding I feel like it's gonna be okay I'll listen to you guys you guys tell me do you guys should think do you, should I add one more cap of oil yes or no tell me okay this is what we have right now
Okay, tell me if I should add one more cap of oil. Okay, you know what we should do? Okay, I take it back. <laughs> I guess he's, you guys, I, you guys are telling me no. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip one apple. I have enough to do this. So I'm going to dip one apple right now. And then I'm going to add more oil. And we're going to see the two differences between right now and when we add more oil. Alright, so I'm going to go for it. I'm going to touch the temperature of my chocolate. I just want to see if it's still hot. No, it's it's not even warm. It's not even warm. Okay. So I'm going to go in there. I'm going to get on my step ladder. Okay. I was able to fully cover it. I'm going to shake off the excess, and that's when you start seeing the ugliness. See all of that? And that's, it's not because it's hot. Okay, because my chocolate is not hot. Okay, so I know that for a fact it's not because of that. Um, I'm going to set it down. Okay, and then I'm going to add, I'm not going to add a whole cap full because I took out some chocolate already. So, um, I'm going to add like half a cap just to see if it helps it more or it makes it worse. Okay, so half of that. And I'm going to mix it. And then I want to taste it. Um, yeah, it will be saved. It will be saved. I mean, I hope so. I hope I, I, I can save it on YouTube. This is my first time on YouTube. So I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to end it. I don't even know where to end it. I'll figure it out. Okay. I want to taste it because after adding like, you know, two and a half caps, I want to see if I can taste the oil, like how it tastes. Because I am curious about that. Okay, so let me show you the consistency now. Okay, let's dip an apple. I think you should put it in the microwave for another 15 seconds. Okay. Let me let me hear you on your on your let me ask you a question. Why? Like why do you think I should put it in the microwave? And this is an honest question. I want to hear what you have to tell me. So why do you think I should put it in? Because of the vegetable oil or because it's not the consistency that we're looking for? Um, what is your reason behind why why should I put it in the microwave again? Okay, before I dip, I want to know because maybe I should put it in the microwave. Maybe it's going to help the oil act better. Um, she says because it already cooled down. Cool down. Cool down would already be setting. Okay, so you're saying put it back in the microwave because it's already cooling down. Yes, it is cooling down, but that is the whole point. And that's why a lot of us go wrong because we want to shove it back in the microwave because it's not getting the consistency that we are being taught, that we are being like, that we look at tutorials and we're like, well, that doesn't look like that, so let me shove it back in the microwave. So don't do that. Okay, stop yourself from doing that. Right now, my chocolate is not setting. Okay, it is not setting. Um, it is still super, super flowy, okay? It's still super flowy. The reason that we're not getting that chocolate watery consistency is because of the brand that we are using. Because the Wilton is not going to give me 
what Merck and Superwide is going to give me, you know. Um, but so no, we're not gonna show it back in the microwave because it's not setting. Literally, and I can tell it's not setting because this apple right here that we dipped, it is still soaking wet. Like it is still, it's not setting at all. Like it's still really wet. If it was already getting, like it was already cooling down the chocolate, um, it would already set. But it's still super wet. So I know um, we're not gonna do that. Okay, so next time when you're seeing that, and that's, like I said, it's where a lot of people go wrong. They wanna just shove it back in because they don't see the consistency. But putting it back in the microwave is a big mistake because you're gonna overheat it and then it's gonna turn like hard rock because you overheated your chocolate, okay? So I'm gonna dip. Okay, I still, like I said, it's still, I don't know how to say it. It's not like the, the consistency that I want, but it's still super flowy. It's not setting at all. So I'm gonna go in there. Okay, if it would stay like this, amazing. Like if it would just, but it's already changing on me. Here, like I'm not even drizzling and it's already coming down. Okay, so if you see this happening, all of this, is not because your chocolate is setting it's not because you're supposed to put it back in the microwave it is just wilton brand is a hard brand to just work with you have to keep at it find ways that work um but for me i just i'd rather not i do understand that for a lot of you guys this is what's accessible this is what fits in your budget but if you're looking to just step it up a little bit and save yourself a headache, then try to buy um, a brand that costs a little bit more to save you guys the headache. Because for me, I would get totally frustrated just seeing my apples, all my hard work, and for them to turn out like this, I'm like, oh, you know, I totally get your frustration. Okay, so I'm gonna put this back here. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna taste it. I wanna taste, because we added so much oil, I just wanna taste it. It tastes like chocolate. It tastes like chocolate. Okay, so I'm gonna let let these set and then I'll bring them up to show you guys the results. So now we're gonna dip in this Merkins red. I'm gonna touch it to see if it's the temperature that I kind of want. I'm gonna use a different finger because I feel like my finger is numb from touching so much chocolate where it's like, um, I don't know. I would like to for it to cool down a little bit, but we're gonna dip already because it's... Okay, so right now this is the consistency of it. Okay, it's not the best. I'm not gonna lie, it's not the best. Okay, so what I do sometimes when I buy a bag and I'm like, okay, I'm seeing the consistency is not what I want, I mix in some white. I mix in some white of my Merkins, mix it in um, to get it to the consistency that I'm looking for. And then I just add coloring to it um, to get it super bold. Okay, so that's what I do. Let me clean my hands a little bit. I'm gonna go up here and we're gonna see how this chocolate acts up if it acts funky or what and this chocolate has like a lot of bubbles okay but overall not uh, no elephant skin but there is a, a lot of bubbles in it, but. Okay. I'm gonna set it down and I wanna um, get my candy coloring. I'm gonna show you guys. Show you guys what it looks like right now, right? Okay, 
that's that consistency. It kind of stops, you know. So I'm going to grab some candy coloring and I'm going to add a lot of it to it. A lot. First, I want to um, get it more bold and I want to taste it. I'm literally adding like a whole lot. Okay. And when it comes to certain colors, It'll make your chocolate even thinner because we are using candy coloring. So these contain oil. So once you add it, not all of the not all of the Chef Master will act like that. The red and the black will really thin out your chocolate, which I love. I never had an issue where it really, was really transparent, where it was all literally just coming down, never. But it gives me a really flowy consistency. So now I have this red super bold this is what we started that's the red now super bloody and I know I have chocolate everywhere but okay and I'm gonna show you guys the consistency right now that I finished kind of just um, mixing it in alright so Now it looks super bright, super bold, super pretty. It does not look pale, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna dip an apple. We're almost done. I'm just gonna um, melt my old, my old um, Merkin Super White. Gonna go in there and okay, no elephant skin. And once they are, are dry, we're gonna compare colors. We're gonna look comparing colors, okay? So for all my people who always ask themselves, but how do they get so like Pretty colors, mine never comes out like that. It's because we're adding a lot of sh candy coloring. <laughs> Simple as that. We don't have any magic candy melts that literally melt super bold and super bright. No, it's just because we're adding a lot of candy coloring. Okay, so let me clean my hands and I'm gonna show you guys um, this, my, the ones we dip is still not dry. It's still not dry. Um, it didn't really get get rid of the bubbles. Um, it just because it's super um, bold and it looks you know much prettier. You can't really tell that it has a lot of bubbles <laughs> because it looks pretty. But it, there's still bubbles in there. It didn't really help it. Okay. So my Wilton one that we did first is still not completely dry. So I'm trying to pick it up and it's stuck on my wax paper, meaning it's not completely dry. But we're gonna pick it up. and it dried like that. Okay. I'm gonna leave these alone and I'm gonna try and make space here and we're gonna melt this one here. Okay, so I'm trying to think what I melted in. I'm gonna use another one of these just not to change it and I know I like these. Um, okay, so a lot of you guys like I said before, are telling me, Danira, I have Merkin Super White, and I just can't get it to melt the way you melt it. It just does not work. Alright. So, I'm going to grab some from my bag, and I put it in my bowl. I have not used this one. It's been sitting in my fridge, but it wasn't stored properly before that. So I have not, I don't remember how it melts, but we're going to find out right now. I don't remember if it melted okay, and I just didn't like it because, I mean, I kept buying new boxes because I wasn't happy with it, but I can't remember what was wrong with it. So let me uh, 
Put it in the microwave. Okay, so while I'm waiting 30 seconds for that, so for candy coloring, there's different brands out there. My favorite are Chef Master candy coloring. Uh, there's Chocolate Chameleon, which is coming back. I'm waiting for that for my vendors to uh, to tell me they have them in stock, so I can go out and buy it and order some. Um, from Artists and Accents, that, that's the brand. And um, Wilton and Michaels does carry like small tiny bottles. They do work. They won't mess up your chocolate. They work. But when you're working on big orders, then um, that little tiny thing is not going to do much. Um, so I'd rather buy these bottles here. And for Chef Master, if you guys want to write this down, for those that haven't taken my classes, um, I have said this before. Chef Master, my favorite, are red, black, pink, uh, purple, those four are my favorite when it comes to Chef Master, okay? Um, when it comes to the chocolate chameleon ones, it's blue because that blue gives me a baby blue, not a navy blue like Chef Master. So uh, blue, orange, yellow, and the green. Those are my favorite. They do have like a rose that gives me a nice rose color, but I'd rather just buy hot pink and get my own, <laughs> like mix it and make it my own. Um, yeah, and then I know AmeriColor also has candy coloring, but I tried it once and I did not like it, so I never ever used it again, okay? And um, I just totally understand for all my newbies and all my beginners, I, I get you guys that these kind of stuff is super expensive. You know, this bottle, this one doesn't have a price on it, but they literally like $5.50 for a bottle of this that I usually use on one bowl, you know, and I get that you're just like, man, that's a lot of money. Um, but the more you start like working on orders and getting more money, you get more money to invest in, in better things. So just be patient. If you don't have the money right, to, right now to invest, just keep hustling, keep working. Um, the money will come if you keep at it. And then you can invest in better things like better chocolate, better candy coloring. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do uh, 20 seconds right now. Okay, so I'm gonna pick this one up. This is Merkin's Red without any coloring. So you see the color, it's like pale. It's like a pale red. Okay, but there's not elephant skin. It dried up, you know, pretty good. And this one here is not completely dry yet, so. Okay, so it's getting there. And we are gonna have like a short Q&A. Um, literally after this one, I'm literally done. I'm gonna dip my apple in here. And if you guys have any questions for me regarding chocolate or, yeah, regarding chocolate. <laughs> or else we can be here all night. And I need to be able to see your comments because I can't see them right now. I mean, I can, but they're literally in and out. So I'm gonna have to get my phone. Um, it's not dry from the bottom, but I wanna pick it up. Look at how bright this is and bold. So this is melted. Let me show you guys. Uh, what brand do you recommend for a teal color? For teal, Artists and Accents does have a teal color. Do, do they have a teal? They do have a teal. They have a teal, but honestly, it's not the the best teal out there. So um, I make my own. I do green and, and green and blue, and I mix it in until I'm happy with it. And uh, just a little advice. Let me, hold on. Let me go back to my advice, hold on. Let me, in my chocolate here, I wanna clean my hand. Um, 
my little advice, I was going to say, what was it? <laughs> um, oh, I forgot. I was going to say something about, I guess, the colors, but I don't remember what my, my little advice was going to be because I got sidetracked because of the comments. Um, I, it'll come back to me right now. All right, so difference between buying just red, red chocolate, and coloring. Coloring? Not coloring. Coloring? Not coloring. This this red is super dark. Like super super dark. Okay. Let me grab my other chocolate. I need to make room here because it's too too much going on here. Oh, I wanna remember what I was going to tell you guys and I don't remember. Okay. Once again, this is Merkins Super White. This is what I call an old batch, something that wasn't stored properly. Okay, so if you see it in there, it looks okay. If I pick it up, where is that consistency that I first got with my box? It is Merkins Super White. But I'm gonna touch it. I'm gonna see if it's hot. So it's a little bit on the hot side. So I'm gonna dip one apple right now. Even though I know it's too hot, I do have an extra one, so I'm gonna let it, actually I have two more. So I'm gonna dip one now, and I'm gonna cool, let it cool down, and then we're gonna come back and dip my second one to see if it made a difference. Um, so on, so on. But if you are getting Merkin Super White and it is not getting that consistency that you see me get, um, a lot, a lot of factors. Okay, and it's that's why I, I wish I can be in your household so I can be like, um, what? Let me like see what you're doing wrong. But it's hard. So I suggest whether you're in my classes or not. Okay, and if you. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna regret putting this out there, <laughs> but um, sometimes I get messages where um, people are like, oh, I'm not getting that chocolate consistency, so on, so on. I always tell them, my students, talking about my students, please post a video. I need to see the video of your consistency. I need to see a video of what you are getting. I need to see a video of your bowl. I need to see, like, I can for you to just write, my chocolate's not acting, my chocolate's acting up, and. I can't get it to melt right. So many things can go be wrong. So, in order for me to help you better, um, post videos. Whether you're my student, if you are gonna message me, <laughs> um, you know, I need a video. I need a video because it's the only way that I'm gonna try my hardest to pinpoint what is going on. Okay, if you are just telling me, it can be so so many things. Okay, so I'm gonna dip one apple. My phone is at 15%, so I have to move it along. I'm glad I'm kinda ending it. Um, so I'm gonna dip one. And it's not like literally like even drizzling. It's hard, it's, it's there's a lot of elephant skin. Okay, so I'm gonna set this down. I'm gonna let it cool down. My talk is gonna cool down a little bit, but there is a lot of stuff going on. Very ugly apple here. Um, so pay attention. Pay attention to your bowl. Pay attention to microwave. Pay attention to where you're getting it from. If there is a store in your in your little town that doesn't have a lot of traffic, they might be sitting on really old chocolate that you don't know about. Um, uh, check you know your bowls um, check the way you're storing it if it's not being stored properly then it's gonna act up it's gonna act like a child check your environment how is your environment is it cool enough for you to dip your apples your cake pops so on so on okay um, so let me get to your question so let me see if I can get on my on my phone really quick um, and and see what your um, 
What do you do when your chocolate is not what you need since you don't use primary crystals or oil? Um, so when it comes to this, for example, like this bag right here, I don't want to throw it away because it's, it still has a lot of chocolate. So what I do is I mix in my new chocolate with the old chocolate and I use it because this, this chocolate right here can still be used for um, Oreos because you literally pour it in the little mold. So it's still usable. I can still use it, uh, but I don't like to use it for cake pops, um, for apples, stuff like that. I literally would just mix my two brands and the consistency will get better. And I will use it probably for pretzels, Rice Krispies, so on, so on. Um, so that's what I do. I'm, I, I combined. Okay, so I was gonna see if I can answer some of your questions. So I don't know if I can see my own live or not. Oh, I actually can, yay. Okay, so my bowls, um, these bowls right here I got at Big Lots. They're from Big Lots. They come in a set. I think there was four of them. And there was, um, they're about $15. Um, I, I, from what I saw right now, I like them. I like them. These bowls right here, they're the silicone ones that I used first. Um, these. Okay, let me, let me, I think a reason that people sometimes like these type of bowls, this, because it retains heat. Right now, this is still, like there's still chocolate that's not melted, you see that? Because it's kind of keeping it a little bit on the warm side. I mean, it's sticking it up. And this one here I already set, like this already set. So you have to find what works for you. Something that doesn't get hot really quickly. Um, I know a lot of people do like for it to retain heat. For me, it's a big no. I'd rather just keep warming it up whenever it starts setting. So, okay, any more questions? Um, for those asking about my caramel apple class, uh, my caramel apple class is not gonna be open till next year in September. I do have plan to have some hands-on classes um before that uh i'm going to be teaching at soulflow if you are attending that um they should be posting the classes soon so once they post it i'll give you guys you know keep you up to date if you guys are going to soulflow and want to take that class um but i don't have set dates for anything else but for online it's not happening till next next year okay so i'm trying to go through the comments like back then I mean way earlier I'm gonna dip one more apple okay and then I'm done for today um, somebody said the fats in the oil may cause the chocolate to separate I kind of I don't know I mean if that's true why do keep people adding oil to it like why why are people adding paramount crystals to make it better if it's only gonna make it worse um, so I don't know about that because, like I said, I'm not familiar with all the adding paramount crystals into it. I don't have much knowledge, so I can't say yes or no. Uh, let me taste the red. Okay, somebody of you guys asked me about the red, if it tastes bitter because I added so much. Okay, and then after that, I'm done. I don't see any more questions. Uh, thank you. Thank you for watching. So this is, is this the one we colored or no? No, this is the one we colored. All right, so this is a super bright red that added a lot of candy color into it. So let me try it. Let me try it again. I feel like I was starting to get a little bit, but overall I taste chocolate. It tastes like chocolate. There's a little bit on my tongue, like a tiny bit, like it kind of just like it's, you know, like almost, but you guys, once you put the apple, the caramel, that little taste that I feel is not gonna even gonna, I'm not gonna be able to taste it. That's actually the first time that I can feel like I can almost taste it, 
but overall the chocolate still overpowers the flavor um so yeah too much oil i should say what brand do you use for milk chocolate oh, okay good question i love almond bark from walmart this is the walmart brand almond bark this chocolate right here melts beautiful beautiful if you're gonna ask me about the white it melts okay not the best it melts okay um it kind of gives you like a yellow tone and it kind of gives you like a transparent look but overall it's okay i i'm not my go-to i don't like the white one but i do love um almond bark i also love merkins milk chocolate um this is just more affordable this is like three dollars for a pound this is a pound yeah one pound and uh, merkins milk chocolate is like four dollars and fifty cents so it's a little bit cheaper and i like it it melts beautifully it dries beautiful um so that's my milk chocolate that's my go-to um Okay, so I'm gonna dip the last one. Where did I leave my chocolate? I'm gonna see if, if it kind of changed the temperature of it. And this is our last one. Um, do you reheat the candy in the containers that you store them or do you transfer it to a bowl for heating? No, so let me touch it. It's cooler, but it's not it's still like a pretty thick chocolate because I said I didn't store it properly. So this is my last apple. Okay, so I'm going to go in there. I want to see if the elephant skin got better or it's still super ugly as heck. <laughs> so it's still not, not runny. See that? It's not running. I have to like push it off. And I still have like a lot of elephant skin. so um, even though my chocolate was a little bit cooler it still did that to me it's still freaking ugly um, so it is because I didn't store it properly and I know that because when I first started using it it was working but then because I'm lazy and I don't put it inside the fridge and I leave it out now I have all this chocolate that acts up like that so I'm gonna keep it in my fridge and I'll mix it in with my new one and um, make it work so all right so we're done we are done for today um i'm like if somebody said candy melt in your mouth not in your pants i'm like wait do i have candy melt on my face um okay you guys i am done um i hope this was helpful at least a little bit <laughs> i hope you guys took some notes um i hope it helps some of my students out okay and uh, the video should stay available i'm gonna pray for me hopefully i can turn this off right and um yeah all right thank you thank you so so much um no you are awesome <laughs> all right bye you guys i'm trying to see where i end this thing i'm like scared to press the x button but Okay, I'm going to press the X button. Hopefully, I'm this safe.